Sean Johnson is one of the most successful and beloved American gymnasts of all time. Her list of accomplishments is quite extensive. She's a three-time world champion, a four-time Olympic medalist, including the 2008 Olympic balance beam title, a three-time all-around national champion, and a five-time Pan American gold medalist. In this video, we'll take a look at the hardest skills performed by Sean Johnson on each event. Vault In 2008, Sean became the first American gymnast to perform an Aminar vault in competition. It consists of a round off onto the springboard, followed by a back handspring onto the vaulting table to a layout with two and a half twists. In the 2006 code, this vault had a 6.5 start value, which gave Sean a slight edge over the rest of the field in the all around final at the Summer Olympics. The Aminar may have gotten popular during the 2009 quad, especially amongst American athletes, but up to that point only a handful of gymnasts in the world were able to perform it. Sean's most visible deductions were the lack of height caused by early twisting off the table, the under-rotation of the landing, and a three-tenths step to the side. On the other hand, she'd keep her form pretty tight during the pre-flight phase and her twisting technique was quite spectacular. No bent legs or crossed ankles. Uneven bars The uneven bars were considered Sean's weakest event, yet she was pretty clean and consistent with her performances. The highlight of the routine was definitely her dismount a double layout with two twists. Named after American gymnast Elise Ray, this G-rated dismount is one of the most difficult in the code of points. At the time, Sean was the only gymnast in the world performing it, and to this day, only a handful have nailed it, but none quite as impressive as Johnson. Her twisting technique shines once again, despite giving a few tenths away for piking too early. Nevertheless, it takes a huge amount of power and endurance to finish a long and exhausting bar routine with such a massive dismount. Balance Beam For many fans, Beam was the highlight of Sean's gymnastics career. Her confident style and rock-solid performances, mixed with high-difficulty skills and excellent rhythm, make Johnson one of the best balance beam workers in history. Her acrobatic series was a standout, as well as her powerful standing full twist, but the most difficult skill in the whole routine came at the end, a full-twisting double-tuck dismount, the hardest in the world at the time. Even though she was never able to stick this G-level element in competition, often having a small step or hop or a low chest position on landing, it does not take away from how truly superb her beam set was. She is, without a doubt, one of the greats ever. Floor Opening a floor routine with a syllabus may not seem like a big deal in 2022, but it definitely was 15 years ago. Nowadays, we even witness gymnasts dismounting with this H-level skill, but this was not a reality back in 2008. Sean was one of the only four gymnasts at the Beijing Olympics capable of executing the double-twisting double-tuck. She had one of the best execution forms in the air, legs glued together, feet pointed, and a precise shape. Occasionally, her chest position could be a bit low on landing, but Johnson would always finish it off with an infectious smile, almost making it look easy. Although the double-double carries an H rating in the current code, it was valued at G back then, which was the highest rating awarded to elements at the time. Sean Johnson's career in the sport was truly remarkable. 
She performed some of the hardest skills in the rulebook of the discipline and would match them with beautiful execution. The American athlete is truly a fan favorite.